And now, meteorologist Marty Vinicinque with Southern Colorado's most accurate forecast. Breezy and cool, or windy if you would like to describe it that way. I mean, the wind's pretty obvious in the shade and with the cool air. We only have 43 degrees right now, Bourbon Brothers Southern Kitchen up on the Palmer Divide. Northwest wind only showing at 10 miles an hour there, but we've had some gusts around 20 to 30 on occasion. And when it picks up like that, it's pretty cold. Skycast shows, by the way, we should expect at least some sprinkles or maybe some flurries if you're up high enough for the remainder of the afternoon. We're not expecting anything heavy anywhere, but don't want you to be surprised if that happens. And that could be a possibility at any time through the evening hours. So overnight tonight, I do think the sky will clear. And this is probably going to be the case for the next several days with a good bit of sunshine each morning, the afternoon buildup of clouds. And we'll just repeat again for the next several days. Chilly tonight once again with lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s. So if you have some plants out there, you tried to get a quick start on the garden, move them inside or cover them up because it could be a rough night here along the front range for them. Far eastern plains should stay a little bit warmer with mid 30s. High country only in the teens and 20s overnight. As I mentioned tomorrow and for that matter Wednesday probably as well, should have more of the same with clouds on the increase through the afternoon. We're going to keep some wind around. We'll see a few showers try to develop late. They're not going to amount to very much, but they'll help to keep things cool. And highs should reach the 50s in much of eastern Colorado with 30s and 40s over the mountains and mountain valleys. So what does it change? Well, not so much on Thursday either, to be honest with you. I think Friday is finally the day that this storm system, it's all part of the same storm, is going to very slowly drift off to the east. And as it does, we'll begin to notice our temperatures climb. So we'll hit the mid-60s on Friday. Saturday looks real warm with 70s. Sunday looks a little cooler with 60s again. Uh, it's a shallow cold front. Quite frankly, it might end up staying east of us. But the bottom line is we're going to have some more wind this weekend, and it will be a, a bunch warmer than what we're going to have the next several days. Pueblo, look for 50s to stay in place through Thursday. We might reach about 70 on Friday. Then we'll get you into the 80s as it looks now on Saturday. Down a little Sunday, back up to around 80 on Monday. So as we move into May, it's starting to feel a little bit more like it should, I suppose, this time of year. Canyon City, we'll look for temperatures to hover in the 50s the next several afternoons. Then we might reach 70 on Friday, a mixture of 70s and 80s, Saturday through Monday. The one constant here is, is wind. Um, can't see any reason to shake it from the forecast through Thursday. Maybe we get a little break on Friday before it picks back up again this weekend. Mountain communities, you're up high enough that you could see a few snowflakes on occasion in the next couple of afternoons. Not worried about it sticking on anything, but uh, don't be surprised if you see them falling. Highs only in the 30s to lower 40s the next few days with lows in the 20s. We'll get you into the 50s on Friday and then probably settle up in the 60s starting Saturday and bringing you into next week. So it's going to take a few days to warm up, but we will eventually do that. Well, I had to, uh, you know, brag a little this morning. The, mm -hmm. the soccer team, mm -hmm. we won our first game. The kids played really well. But we did have the, uh, the wind blowing right. right along the field there. So, you know, when the wind was at our back, it kind of had a little advantage. We have another game tomorrow evening. Does it sound like the same setup? Yeah, uh, different direction on the wind, and uh -huh. a colder wind, by the way, than what you had on Saturday. We had the same issue with football. My son felt like he was uh, Peyton Manning. He was throwing the ball like 50 <laughs> yards. He just put it up in the air and let it go. <laughs> well, he has quite an arm, little yes. Cooper yeah, does. Yeah, but he can't throw it 50 yards without a 40 mile an hour wind in his back. <laughs> hey, Mother Nature helped out a little bit. Well, and you guys won the game. We did. Yeah. All right. That's the plus side of the wind. That's right. Thank you.